It's Miss M. Today we're going to do creating art with shapes. For this activity, you need some shapes cut out. You can do it for magazines, plain paper. You can, if you find shapes around the house you want to use, that's fine too. If your child wants to cut the shapes, let them do so and do it with supervision. But it's great fine motor practice for them. So I encourage you to try helping them cut if they want to cut. If they don't, that's fine. Then you're going to ask them what their favorite shape is. If they don't tell it to you off the top of their head, just lay some shapes out in front of them and ask them what their favorite shape is. So if they still don't recognize their favorite shape, or but if they point, then prompt them to identify the shape with that. So, you know, this shape has four sides. One, two, three, four. Do you know what shape has four sides? If they still don't give it to you, say square, have them point to the square, have them repeat the word square. After you've done that, give them the paper, uh, give them some glue or some tape, whatever you have, and let them create and build whatever they want to do. So you may not know what they're building or creating, but creating and using those different perspectives is what is, what is important in this activity, is letting them express their creativity and their imagination. So while they're doing it, you could ask them questions to prompt about the shapes and recognize the shapes that they're using. So if you have the paper and they're gluing triangles, I see that you're using triangles. How many triangles are you using? What are you making with the triangles? What color? I see that you put a green square on top of a green triangle. If you want to extend the activity make it a little bit higher, you can use three-dimensional shapes. If you have toothpicks lying around, Q-tips, uh, if you have marshmallows, anything that you want to have on their paper, that's fine. But just as long as they build and talk about what they're building, talk about what makes each shape unique and what features the shapes have, that's what's important in this activity is encouraging that language, communication, and creativity aspect. Y'all have fun.